Hey. All right, vacation mode has officially begun. Woo! Woo! Ready, Mom Millie? Began at like Woo! She says, "Hell no." Nope. Whatever. We're getting ready to load up. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> What's Hi. <the> Hi. <laughs> I'm new to this. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are on our way officially. Ooh, uh, whoa. Headed to Atlanta. Nice and rainy and very windy. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's throwing you around. You got a little roller coaster ride here. Holy cow. Yeah. Crossing, Crossing in into Memphis. Oh, yeah. Arkansas, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning. Good morning. First day, we made it to Atlanta safe and sound last night. Now we uh, got up, we're on our way to Coca-Cola Museum. All right guys, we'll be there in a minute. All right, we're in the world of Coke. In my mind, in my head, this is where we all came from. The dreams we have, the love we share, this is why we're waiting for better with a Coke. Yeah, that's Fanta Exotic. I want more of that. That Bebo, DJ Kiwi Mango, that is fire. All right, so what are we trying for Europe? Lingonberry, Lingonberry from Sweden. I don't really have much flavor. I think that was the grapefruit. The I need to switch cups with you after that. That's got cucumber. It's got That's cucumber. Grapefruit. That's grapefruit. That's cucumber. Sprite with cucumber? Yeah. Oh yeah, that is severely grapefruit. Ugh. I don't even taste good. That's Sprite with cucumber. Awesome. All right. Okay, this can't be bad. Try to spray with. <laughs> you do smell cucumber. Yeah. Yeah, it tastes oh, horrible. Nasty. <laughs> Nobody likes the Beverly. <laughs> Who the hell came up with that flavor? I don't know. Europe. Yeah, I'm not too fond of Europe either. I think we're going back to Africa. Alright, so this is the barbecue. It's called a sour plum flavor, but I they say it tastes like barbecue. It does taste just like barbecue, like drinking barbecue sauce soda. Weird. You should try it. It's unique. You're only here once. Just try a swig of it. What is the word case? It doesn't taste that word. All right, Val. Try the barbecue soda. Is that Look, what you just she just tried? made that nasty face. Oh, well, you, it's a once in a lifetime <laughs> thing. You got to try it. It's not good, but just tr swig it. It's like drinking barbecue soda. 
Yeah, different, huh? Definitely tastes like barbecue sauce. That's what I said. That's supposed to be sour plum. I'm like, it I'm pretty sure that's sweet baby Ray soda. But not plum. I think that's sweet baby Ray soda. Something like that. <laughs> that's exactly what that tasted like. Ugh. I don't know. Let's see. This is the vegetable soda. Doesn't taste like or smell like vegetables. That one actually smelled like barbecue. Kind of tastes like a juice, a little bit. You don't really taste vegetables in that. Blue Sky is still my favorite. That was pretty interesting. The barbecue soda was probably by far the worst. My favorites, quite a few. My favorite one. I definitely don't think that I could drink any more at this point. <clears throat> I'm about to throw up if I, I have mean, to be this honest. This one and the pineapple Fanta. My favorite was the barbecue soda. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. That was the worst <laughs> by far. Oh, that was not my worst. Oh yeah, it was horrible. No, Beverly. That actually was worse. <laughs> I will drink barbecue soda before I will drink Beverly. She Beverly. is right. And you know, I think I read that too. Whenever I was Ooh. researching this place. Like, I like grapefruit. That doesn't taste like grapefruit. It no. tastes like, like a cleaning product. That was terrible. Whoever drinks that, I really wish their taste buds the best of luck. Because I really like it's pretty stuff. horrible. My stomach hurts. And I think I'm done about with Coca-Cola. We're going to go check out and see what else they got to offer. What's up? Hello, hey, hello. We got over here. We got some uh, some Coca Cola art. Oh yeah, yeah. I I like this stuff, but I prefer to drink Coca Cola. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I just got Coca Cola wasted. Oh. oh yeah. yeah. Coca Cola wasted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You think the ride's gonna make us go upside down? <laughs> I think it should. Pretty sure that yeah. when you're searching for Coca Cola you're recipes, you're gonna be formula. going upside down. Yeah. Well, you look under stuff. Y'all hang on. <laughs> uh oh. Hey. Gentlemen, welcome. Good afternoon. Welcome to the second floor. This is the search for the secret formula. This is a special effects theater, meaning we operate under a special time during the film. Make sure you leave out of one of the nine doors that have exit above them, not the doors that you came in through. Absolutely no cell phone or video recording. The secret formula for Coca-Cola is all of those things. Now what could be more refreshing than that? <laughs> The 4D theater was really cool. The vault's protected, so no one can get near it. Probably about as close as we're gonna get to it. <laughs> so, that's where the recipe is. Those are really awesome. I wonder how much it would cost to like buy one of those. A lot of money. A lot of money. Oh look, not much line to get a picture from. We'll grab another splash of coke and we're out of here. Ah, Sprite Exotic Berry. What is this? Different ones in here. The Sprite Exotic Berry or whatever it's called. Or Tropic Berry. Tropic Berry is bomb. I wonder if they have like different flavors. Who knows? Overall, the Coca-Cola Museum has been really cool. It was delicious. I am extremely full of sugar, ready to go on to our next adventure. So stay tuned and we will be seeing you soon.